It's Monday night, February 6, 1967 at the arena on the campus of Southwest Missouri State College here in Springfield as the defending 1966 MIAA champion Bears take on the Bearcats of Northwest Missouri State. The SMS Bears continue with conference play tonight after winning an 89-71 game against Northeast Missouri State of Kirksville here last Friday night. This will be the Bears' 18th contest of a tough schedule. It'll be SMS's first meeting with the Maryville Bearcats this season. Bearcats have a fine team. Not only are they a good offensive club, but they rank as a good defensive unit. The Bears have won 14 of their games so far this year and came within one point of upsetting number one ranked Southern Illinois. The Bears won all five of their games on a recent road trip along the West Coast. That also included an appearance in the Chino Tournament where the Bears took the championship. After tonight, SMS only has five more contests before the NCAA Regionals. Well, starting tonight's game for Maryville under the leadership of head coach Dick Buckridge is number 33, Bob Nelson, a 6'2 junior point guard. The other guard is number 21, 5'10 sophomore Jerry Goodson. At forward, 6'3 freshman Mike Volmuth, number 23, 6'4 sophomore Ken Sheridan, number 45 is the other forward, and at center is 6'5 freshman Gary Simon, number 55. The leadership of the Southwest Missouri State Bears, currently seated on the sideline watching final warm-ups. Head coach Bill Thomas, supported by Jay Kinzer as the assistant, and graduate assistant Gordon May. The Bears starting five for tonight's game begins with point guard number 10, 5'10 senior from St. Louis, Jim Gummersbach. At the other guard number 12, a 6'4 senior from Branson, Phil Shanahan. Starting at one of the forwards is number 22, 6'4 senior from Springfield, Danny Bolden. Number 54, Curtis Perry, the other starting forward, 6'6 freshman from Washington, D.C. And at center, number 50, a 6'7 junior from Washington, D.C., Lou Shepard. Other members of the varsity ready to play tonight, Mert Bancroft, a 6'6 sophomore from Buffalo, Jack Ferguson, 6'4 senior forward from West Plains, Wayne Rachel, a senior guard from Buffalo, Max G, sophomore guard from Eldorado Springs, 5'10, Greg Mess, 5'11 freshman guard from St. Louis, and Willie Jenkins, a 6'3 sophomore forward from St. Louis. Now Don Carlson, a 6'6 senior forward center from Republic, will be on the sidelines tonight, not in uniform as he recovers from a lengthy illness. If all goes well with the doctors, Don should be back in uniform and ready to play next week. Junior varsity members ready for possible action tonight are Paul Perkins, a 6'4 freshman forward from Steelville, Mike Watts, 6'5 freshman forward from St. Louis, Kenny Watkins, a 6'5 freshman forward from El Dorado Springs, and Larry Crudwig, a 6'8 sophomore center from Lebanon. Tonight's referees are Big Train Jackson and Bill Keane. Teams getting their final instructions from the coaches were moments away from the opening tip-off. Well, the teams are out on the court. Officials are ready. The clock set at 20 minutes for the first half. Ready for the tip as Shepard steps in against Simon of Maryville. Shepard controls the tip to Perry. He tips it on to Bolden on the far side. Long pass under the basket to Shanahan. Comes down, avoiding a block by Goodson. Jumps, puts it in for two points, and the Bears take the early lead. Nelson for Maryville has it top of the key. Fakes to his left, passes into the post. Back to Nelson, top of the key, really pressured by Bolden. Nelson passes down the near side to Volmuth, takes it up high, waits, passes back out front to Nelson, a lot of pressure from Bolden. Nelson off to Sheridan near the baseline to jump and shoot off the back of the rim. Shepard for the Bears comes down to the ball and passes to Gummersbach. Gummersbach across half court to the near side of the lane, back out front to Shanahan. He drives the near side, drops the ball off to Perry coming across the baseline. Perry jumps from the near corner, ball off the side of the rim, off the backboard, rebounded in a scramble by Shanahan. He has it slapped away by Nelson of Maryville, but the ball's out of bounds off Shanahan. Ball is inbounded by the Bearcats. Nelson down the right side to Sears, on to Simon on the baseline. Can't go anywhere because of Shepard. Simon waving the ball around, drops it off to Sears, but not before a walk. Gummersbach down the left side of the lane into Bolden at the side. Ball deflected into the hands of Shepard, who jumps, shoots, scores! And four zip bears. And he's fouled in the act of shooting. Shepard misses the free throw, but it's rebounded by Bolden. Off the board for two more. Four-point play for the Bears, and they go in front six to nothing. Maryville inbounds the ball to Sears on the right. Back out front to Volmuth. Quickly passes to Nelson out of the far left corner. He shoots in the middle of the lane. Scores. Fouled by Bolden in the process. So he'll go to the lane for one shot. Bob Nelson at the line to shoot one, misses. Big scramble for the rebound. Perry comes out with it on the baseline, then off to Bolden. 
He passes to Gummersbach in the middle, coming across midcourt. Pass to Perry in the far right side. Holding the ball up as Gummersbach moves across the lane. Perry to Bolden, who immediately feeds it back to Gummersbach all alone near left side lane. Shoots a jumper off the backboard and in for two points. And the Bears go up by an 8-2 score. Maryville across half court into Volmuth on the near right side lane. And the Sears at the top of the key. On to Nelson, far side. Dribbles top of the key to Simon. Tries to pick off Shanahan. Sears called for a lane violation. Shanahan across midcourt into Shepard, top of the circle. Hands it off to Gummersbach across the lane. Reverses direction, top of the key, shoots, scores. And it's 10 to two Bears. Nelson down court, passes right, deflected out of bounds by Gummersbach. Now the ball inbounded to Volmuth, who dribbles around top of the key, pressured by Bolden. Passes to Nelson, near left side. Quickly to Sears, far baseline. Shanahan drops back to defend. Nelson shoots, made it, and it's 10-4 in favor of the Bears. The lead cut to six. Gummersbach down court into Shepard, top of the key. Hands off to Shanahan. He changes direction around the far side of the lane. Let's go a right-hand hook off the rim. Tipped in by Shepard. And the Bears add to their lead. It's 12-4. Sears drives to the top of the key, jumps, pulls up, misses. Foul by Shanahan in the act. He will go to the line and connects on both free throws. That makes it 12-6 Bears, 17-11 on the first half clock. Shanahan for the Bears, top of the key, dribbles to the right, hands it off to Gummersbach. He comes down the side of the lane, going in for the layup, but called for too many steps. Volmuth for Maryville, now at the other end of the court, dribbles into the top of the key. Pass to Nelson, far sideline, pass wide, and goes out of bounds. Shanahan dribbles to the top of the key, testing the Maryville defense. Backs out, passes off to Bolden. Shanahan near corner, Bolden hands the ball back to him, driving side of the lane, going into the lay-in, too many steps. In the process, traveling on Shanahan. Maryville down court, bad pass to Nelson, out of bounds, and the Bears get the ball back. Gummersbach, far right side, off to Perry. Jim breaks across the lane, freeing up Bolden. Perry passes it back to Bolden, who turns, jumps, shoots, scores. And the Bears lead 14-6. Shepard goes to the free throw line from a Maryville pushing foul underneath for the rebound, but he misses the solo shot. He comes away with the rebound, puts it in for two more points. Another putback for the Bears. They lead 16-6. Sheridan, the game for Maryville. Balmuth into the backcourt, Bolden putting on pressure. Gets off a pass to Sheridan up the near side lane. Dribbles once, up for a shot, blocked by Perry, but the ref calls it a jump ball. Sheridan and Shepard in the circle. Ball is up. Shepard tips to Perry, but Gifford of Maryville steps in and gets the ball. Dribbling down the far side of the lane. Off to Sears in the corner. Shoots off the backboard rim. Bolden gets to it before going out of bounds. Passing to Shanahan. Good save on the near side. Fast breaking. Cross midcourt. Turns right across the top of the key. Drops it off to Gummersbach on the far side. Jump shoots off the front of the rim. Everybody for the rebound. Perry has it. Puts it off the glass and in. And it's 18-6 Bears. Nelson guarded by Gummersbach. Top of the key. Passes to his left to Gifford, then to Volmuth on the far side. Dribble, then a pass back out front to Sears. He's come out of the near side backcourt. Sears takes a dribble, pass to Nelson near side, guarded by Shanahan. Nelson tries to drive, turns back around, shoots, and hits it for two points. And it's 18 to eight Bears with 15 and a half minutes left in the half. Gummersbach down the far right side, hands off to Perry as he goes by. Perry around top of the lane, jump, shoots, scores. 20 to eight Bears and foul by Nelson. So Perry goes to the free throw line, a chance at a three-point play. Curtis at the line shooting one and hits it, and that makes the score 21 to eight. Nelson across midcourt, top of the key, passes into the lane to Sheridan. He fires to Volmuth on the far side. Volmuth holds the ball over his head looking. Pass back to Sheridan, top of the key. Sheridan to Gifford on the near side, then to Nelson, coming across the top, turns, shoots a jumper. Gummersbach apparently got a piece of the ball. The ball off the far rim. Ball comes out of his way to the far sideline. Sears gets to the ball first. Jump, shoot the shot off the front of the rim. Bounces into the hands of Bolden. Outlet pass now ahead to Gummersbach, crossing top of the key. Gummersbach over his left shoulder in the near lane to Bolden. Puts the ball off the backboard and in. And a foul while making the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Bears up now 23 to eight. Bolden's free throw on the way, but rims out, rebounded by Gifford and Maryville. He passes cross court to Goodson, across mid court to Nelson, top of the key, then to Howard in far side. Comes to the top of the key, off to Goodson near side. Bounce pass Gifford near baseline. Jump shoots. Misses, Bolden gets the rebound. Immediately passes across mid court to Shanahan. And it goes in for the layup and scores, making it 25 to eight. 
Sharing across half court, top of the key. Fakes a pass over Perry. Begins a drive down the right near side lane. Stopped by Perry. Back out to Halloran, guarded by Boulder. Halloran passes to Goodson along the far side. Goodson breaks around Gummersbach in the middle of the lane. Goes in for a layup. Perry jumps, tips the ball back. Shepard's tip goes to the top of the key. Headed to the near sideline. Bolden sidearms it back, but not before stepping out of bounds with a little help from Sheridan. Sheridan inbounds the ball to Howran, who comes across the lane. Back to Goodson on the near side. Goodson breaks to the basket, pulls up. Long jumper and good. That makes it 25 to 10 in favor of the Bears. Gummersbach driving down the far side line, going behind Perry all the way to the baseline. Bounce pass to Shepard, top of the lane. Lou pivots right, big left hand hook shot over the top of the rim, and in, and fouled by Gifford. That makes it 27 to 10 Bears, 13 and a half minutes left in the half. Shepard at the free throw line, one shot, ball is up and in, and it's 28 to 10, Bears by 18. Goodson then passes off to Sheridan, top of the key. Goodson breaks left, sets a pick on Shanahan. Sears comes to the top, gets a handoff from Sheridan. Bounce pass Howard near side. Pass the ball to Goodson, top of the key. The ball comes to Sheridan, far side, jump, shoots, off the front of the rim, bounces into the hands of Shepard, and into Gummer's box hands at the top of the key. He starts fast breaking. Ahead to Shanahan across midcourt. Ball's tangled up between Bolden and Shanahan. Shanahan gets control, dribbles to the far side, and passes to Perry. Shanahan to the far baseline and waits. Perry turns, lobs to Bolden, top of the lane. Bolden to Gummersbach down the near side, stops, jump shoots, off the backboard. Two points more for the Bears. It's 30 to 10. Goodson brings the ball to Maryville front court, pressured by Gummersbach. Goodson dribbles around and passes to Howard, far side front court, pursued by Bolden. Pass to Sheridan coming across the baseline. Shoots and misses. Shanahan comes away with a rebound. Shanahan brings the ball down the far side. They head to Bolden in the far corner. Danny dribbles, pulls the ball up as Gummersbach comes around the top of the key. Sets and shoots. Ball off the back of the rim, rebound into the hands of Goodson. He feeds it to Howard, breaking down court across the timeline, turning into the center circle, breaks to the top of the key. Howard tries to get off the shot, stopped by Bolden. Howard feeds to Goodson, taking one step forward. Jump, shoots off the back of the rim, rebounded by Bolden, but grabbed away by Sheridan. He sets to shoot, stopped. Perry towering over him. Sheridan feeds the ball to Sears, all alone, far side, top of the lane. Shoots, ball spins off the rim, tipped back up, bounces off the backboard to the near side, grabbed by Bolden. He starts the fast break down the near sideline. Howard, the lone defender of the lane. Bolden, bounce pass now to Gunners, drop our side. For the layup, good. And the Bears lead 32 to 10. Maryville brings it down the near sideline into Goodson. Howard breaks behind Bolden and Shepard, lays it off the board for two. And the Bearcats now down 32 to 12. Shanahan drives middle of the lane, off to Bolden on the near sideline, jumps, shoots, misses. Shepard tips the rebound to the ball off the backboard. Scramble is on on the near side. Shepard eventually takes control. Lou turns, jumps, and scores. And the Bears increase their margin to 34 to 12. Goodson into the center front court. Passes to Sears far side. Sears back to Howran off the top of the key. Howran jumps, shoots, misses off the side of the rim. Bolden now gets the rebound. Let's fly a long cross court bounce pass across the timeline, but picked off by Simon. He comes down the near side off to Sears. He dribbles up to Bolden, pulls the ball looking, nobody open. Passes back out front to Howran across the key. Lots of pressure from Perry. Ball goes back to Sears near side. He'll throw it to Goodson across the top of the key. Goodson breaks down the near side lane, turns out of the basket, bounce past Simon all alone, farm baseline, shoots, and the ball rolls around and in. And it's 34 to 14, SMS. Gummersbach brings it into the Bears side of the court, pass to Shanahan far top of the key. Shanahan drives near the side lane, then pass off to Perry. He starts to dribble out front under pressure from Simon. Perry to Gummersbach at the top, bolt in the lane too long though. And the ball goes over to Maryville. Goodson passes to Howard far side. Now Goodson down near the side of the key, setting a pick on Ferguson. Nelson gets free at the top. Pass from Howran. Nelson fires to Volma from the near side. Shoots a long jumper off the mark. Shepard and Simon of Northwest go for it. Simon gets control. Then to the far side corner. Bounce pass around Perry to Howran, middle of the lane. Howran shuffles it off to Goodson. Takes a quick dribble down the side. Jump, shoots, and scores. And it's 34 to 16. Bears about midway through the first half. In for the Bears now are Wayne Rachel, Mert Bancroft, Jack
Jack Ferguson, Phil Shanahan, and Lou Shepard. Shanahan across the timeline down the far side, top of the key. Breaks down the far side, ball off to Ferguson, quickly back to Rachel, top of the key. Bancroft breaks, Rachel to Bancroft, turns, jump, shoots, ball off the front of the rim, bounce to the far corner, and collected by Nelson of Maryville. Nelson across the timeline, the near side, stops, looks, passes to Goodson at the top of the key. Goodson dribbles from the top down the near side of the lane, sets a screen, hands off to Nelson, fakes, shoots a long jumper, and scores. And it's 34 to 18, Bears by 16. Bancroft inbounds it to Shanahan across the timeline, drives up into the lane for a layup, fouled by Nelson. Shanahan at the free throw line, gets up, off the back of the rim, bounces to the near side, Bancroft comes away with it, one bounce to the middle of the lane, up with a big right hand hook, off of the rim, Rachel has the rebound, up for a shot, swatted away by Simon, Shepard with the rebound, jumper off the backboard and in. The Bears a third chance bucket, and they lead now 36 to 18. Howard across the mid stripe, bounce pass near side Sears, back to Nelson at the top of the key. Passes to Simon, breaking up the lane. Simon turns, Shepard right there to stop him. Hands off to Nelson, top of the key. Take a shot over the hands of Bancroft and Rachel. It's off the rim, rebounded by Shepard, and tips it out to Ferguson. Ferguson, quick pass to Rachel over the near side timeline, quickly across the top of the key all the way to the far corner, passes quickly back to Ferguson. He makes a lob to Shepard in the lane. Lou turns to shoot, foul by Simon. Shepard at the line, ball is up, short, hitting the front of the rim, recovered by Gifford of Maryville. Passes to Howard on the near side. Howard dribbles up to the center court circle. Long pass intended for Volma, dribbles forward, starts to shoot, cut off by Bancroft. Volmuth sends it back out to Howron, dribbles up the lane, passes to Volmuth in the corner. Howron and Gifford break down the right side to put a double pick on Ferguson. Volmuth breaks around Bancroft, pulls up at the free throw line, jumps, and snaps the net for two points. And Maryville back within 36 to 20. Racial across midcourt, breaks quickly down the far side lane into the corner, lobs it to Ferguson. He will pass to Bancroft. He'll pivot, hand off to Ferguson around the top of the key. One step, flips it off the backboard and in for two and fouled by Volma. In the act of shooting, 38 to 20, SMS. And Ferguson free throw off the rim, rebound out of bounds off Shepard. Nelson inbounds it to Howran across midcourt. Dribbles to the near side front court. Pass to Volma the far sideline. Ball goes then to Sears at the center front court. Sears to Howran. He's come around the baseline to the near sideline. Off to Nelson on the near fouled by Ferguson. Nelson at the free throw line hits the one and makes it 21 for Maryville and 38 for the Bears. Eight minutes to go in the first half. Shepard inbounds to Rachel across the timeline. Down the near side corner, past Bancroft in the lane. Rachel hands it off to Shepard and fouled by Howard. Rachel at the free throw line, off the side rim. Nelson with a rebound and fouled by Bancroft. Nelson at the free throw line, shoots and misses. A Shepard up for the rebound. He'll pass ahead to Jenkins across half court to the top of the key, and off to Rachel. He dribbles to the far sideline around a pick from Bancroft, holds on to it, lobs to Mert, far side front. Ferguson breaks across the center. Mert passes the ball out, deflected by Sears. The ball goes out of bounds. Jenkins backhands it at the sideline, back to Ferguson. He takes a jumper off the front of the rim. Rebound controlled by Nelson. Fast break down the near side to the near free throw line. Jump, shoots, off the mark, scramble for the ball. Bancroft and Gifford tie it up for a jump. Ball is up, Bancroft tips it to Ferguson, who goes to Rachel near side. Rachel pulls up at the free throw line, feeds it to Bancroft, trailing down the lane. Mert takes one bounce, up for a big right hand hook shot, off the board for two, fouled by Gifford, trying to block the shot. That makes it 40 to 21 SNS. Mert on the free throw line, one shot, hits the back of the rim, bounces high, grabbed by Gifford, outlook to Howard on the near side. Howard to Volmuth at the top of the key. Volmuth hands off to Sears. Volmuth trying to pick off Jenkins defending. Sears holding. Sears lobs to Nelson off the far side of the lane to almost midcourt circle. Ferguson and Rachel cut him off. Nelson to Howard. Holds high. No one open. Dribbles back to the near corner circle. Pressured by Rachel. Howard passes far sideline to Volmuth. Stands holding the ball. Watching. Nothing. Begins to dribble back out front. Now to Nelson at the top of the key. Now starts in, but bounce pass to Nelson's far sideline. Pressured by Jenkins. Out front to Howard. He bobs and weaves. Sends it to Gifford on the far side. Gifford jump. Shoots. Misses. Rebound tipped back by Jenkins. Off Gifford's off. Jenkins Sears gets it back. Hand off to Howard at the free throw line. Jump shoots. Off the back of the rim. No good. And yanked down by Shepard. Lou to Jenkins, fast breaking down the middle, then off to Ferguson on the near side for the shot, but called for too many steps. Howard pass to Volmuth, top of the key, fouled by Bancroft. Volmuth at the free throw line, makes the one-shotter. 
It's inbounded by Bancroft to Racial, top of the key. Racial dribbles around the far side. Ferguson to the far corner. Racial hits Ferguson in the corner, jump, shoots, and knocks it down for two points. And the Bears go up 42 to 22 with 5.54 to go in the half. Howard into the Maryville front court, bounce past Sears near side. Sears breaking for the basket, but cut off. Tries a jump shot, fouled by Jenkins, and the ball is off the mark, but this will send Sears to the line. Sears drops both free throws, bringing the total to 42-24 SMS. Racial it to Max G in for Shepard. It's along the near side, dribbles up short of the lane, jumps, shoots, balls off the back of the rim, grabbed by Bancroft going high for the rebound. Off the board and in, and the Bears take a 44-24 lead. G challenges Roger Nelson half court. Nelson breaks right, G forces him to pick it up. Howard breaks to the top of the key. Nelson gets him the ball, closely defended by Ferguson. Howard takes a couple of bounces, holds the ball, bounce pass Gifford, top of the key. Gifford turns to shoot, nothing there. He lobs the ball now to Nelson on the near side lane. Nelson holds it looking, passes back to Howard near the midcourt circle. Nelson moves forward, passes to Sears far side. Sears back to Howard, breaking down the lane. Howard takes it to the far corner, almost batted away by Jenkins. Howard jumps, shoots. Ball misses off the front of the rim, grabbed by Gifford, then taken away by Ferguson. Now over to Rachel on the near side. He takes it into SMS country, dribbles back to the top of the key. To Max G far side, G hands to Rachel. G breaks for the baseline out of the basket. G and Jenkins pick off their defenders. Ferguson open. Now Rachel drives the lane and is fouled by Roger Nelson. Rachel hits the first shot in the bonus and readies for the second. Racial second shot up, misses off the front of the rim. Rebound Sears, Bancroft call for a foul over the back. Sears hits the single shot and the bonus at the Maryville free throw line. Racial across midcourt, far side, hits Perry, top of the free throw line. G comes around Perry, takes it from Curtis. G passes underneath Jenkins, far side, turns, shoots, and made it. And it's 47 to 26, SMS, four and a half minutes to go in the first half. Nelson across midcourt, stopped by G. Goodson comes out front to get the ball from Nelson. Goodson holding it, pressured by Rachel. Pass to Sears on the sideline. Sears breaks for the basket, short of the baseline, jumps, shoots, and scores. Maryville gets back within 47 to 28. Max G inbounds and brings it to the top of the key, breaking as Ferguson takes a pass in the corner. Jump, shoots, knocks it down. SMS up 49 to 28, a 21 point lead with four minutes left in the half. Bob Nelson inbounds, passing to Roger Nelson, getting into half court down the far sideline, stopped by G. Nelson to Howron, far side. Howron passes it back out front to Sears. Key sending the ball, now a lob to Bob Nelson on the near sideline. Roger Nelson takes a pass from Bob Nelson. Roger to Gifford in the far corner. Gifford starts to jump. Perry goes way in the air, forcing him to dribble to the side. Jump shoots, and Gifford scores, and it's 49 to 30 Bears. Now Maryville goes to the full court press. Intercepts the ball at half court. Ball's out of bounds underneath by SMS. Bearcats to inbound the ball under the basket. Comes into Sears near the side baseline. Passes to Gifford coming across the middle of the lane. He starts to shoot, loses the handle. Ball knocked away by G, picked up by Ferguson. Fast break to the free throw line. Over to Greg Mess down the side. Mess lays the ball up too hard. Rebound tipped up by Perry. Run down by Jenkins. He jumps, shoots, misses. Ball goes right back into Willie's hands. Lays it up off the rim. Ball back up in the air, recovered by Greg Mess. Tips it up to Gifford. Call for a foul on Jenkins. Jenkins' first shot is good. And the second shot goes in, making it 51 to 30 Bears. Ball inbounded by Underwood. Goes to Howard in the far corner. Howard to Gifford. Now Howard turns and lobs to Underwood, partially tipped by Perry. Underwood jumps, shoots off the front of the rim. Ball way up in the air, recovered by Ferguson. He takes it down the far side to Greg Mess in the far corner. Mess to Perry, turns, jump, shoots off the backboard, into the hoop. Perry, though, called for moving his pivot foot to so take away the basket. Howard crosses midcourt for Maryville, passes to Nelson on the near side. Nelson breaks down to the corner, jump, shoots, misses short of the rim, high scramble for the rebound, comes out to Greg Mess. Howard after the ball, trips Greg, and he's called for a foul. Greg Mess at the free throw line, one shot, ball up, bounces off the back, rebounded by Gifford of Northwest. The ball goes out in the far corner to Nelson, across the timelines. Nelson into Underwood, almost picked by Ferguson, but the ball goes out of bounds, and he fouls Underwood in the process. Underwood at the free throw line. He misses, rebounded by Ferguson, and he's fouled by Gifford. Now Ferguson at the free throw line for one shot, up and in. 
Bonus shot by Ferguson, and he makes this one as well. And it's 53 to 30 SMS, 237 left in the half. Bears apply full court press and intercepts in the near corner. Greg Mess bounce pass to G along the baseline, under the basket, crosses to the other side, handoff to Ferguson, breaking down the lane. Ferguson lays it up off the backboard, off the mark, and call for charging, an offensive foul on Ferguson. Howard down the far side, forced to the middle by G. Howard passes to Underwood near side. Now to Peterson at the baseline, cut off by Perry. Passes back out to Underwood. He takes a step to his left, jump, shoot, scores, and foul by Ferguson. Makes it 53-32 in favor of the Bears and a chance at a three-point play for Maryville. Underwood at the free throw line, shoots and misses. Ferguson takes a big leap and recovers the rebound. Outlet to Mess on the far side. Greg takes it across midcourt, stops, and continues to dribble, guarded by Nelson. Fires the ball toward Ferguson along the baseline. Tipped by Nelson. Goes over the backboard and out of bounds. Mass inbounds to Perry for the Bears. Curtis jump shoots off the backboard and miss. Ball rebounded by Sheridan for Maryville. Bob Nelson bounce pass ball to Underwood in the far corner. Underwood to Tonnies at the top of the key. Now to Nelson near side. Drives to the free throw line. Jump shoots. Mess gets a piece of the ball. Shot comes up short. Taken down by Curtis Perry. Max G far side out front. Now he'll pass to Mess, top of the key. G breaks down the far side and a bounce pass Jenkins. He pivots, left-hand hook shot in for two points, giving the Bears a 55-32 advantage, a minute 32 left on the clock. Bob Nelson to Sheridan on the far side, double teamed by Jenkins and G. Willie slaps the ball away but gets called for a foul. Sheridan makes the first free throw. And his second shot is up and good, making it 55-34 SMS. Max G inbounds for the Bears over to Mess. They'll bring it up the far side, front court into Perry, who jump shoots and knocked it down. 57 to 34 Bears, a minute to go in the half. Maryville unable to score on its next trip to its side of the floor. Ball back to the Bears. Perry in the lane, shoots a jumper and made it again for two more points. 44 seconds left in the first half. Northwest Missouri State does not score in its next possession. Perry is fouled on the Bears' next possession and hits the first shot. Perry up, getting the bonus. Bears total 61 to 34 with 28 seconds left in the half. Maryville misses a shot and rebounded by SMS. Max G brings it down court, jumping from out front and hitting for two more. Nine seconds to go. Maryville down court, unable to penetrate. They'll take a last second shot out front, off the mark, and time runs out in a scramble for the rebound. That brings us to the end of the first half of this game between the Bears and Northwest Missouri State. First half summary coming up with the Bears on top. Top scorer for the Bears is Lou Shepard with six field goals and one free throw for 13 points. Curtis Perry put in four field goals, three free throws, a total of 11. Jim Gummersbach had four field goals, eight points. Jack Ferguson, three field goals, two free throws, and he totaled eight points as well. Danny Bolden contributed six points, all from the field. Willie Jenkins, two field goals, two free throws, six points. Phil Shanahan scored four. So did Mert Bancroft. Max G had two points. Wayne Rachel a free throw. And the Bears a halftime total of 63. For the Maryville Bearcats, Sears led the scoring, connecting on two field goals and six free throws for a total of 10 points. Bob Nelson was next with three field goals and a free throw, seven points. Goodson put in four. Valmuth had three points. Gifford, Howran, Underwood, and Simon all contributed a, a field goal each, and Sheridan dropped in two free throws, giving Maryville 34 points at the half. We are back from the break and the second half of tonight's game about ready to begin from the SMS arena. Starting the second half of the Bears, Lou Shepard at center, Curtis Perry and Danny Bolden at the forwards, Jim Gummersbach and Phil Shanahan, the guards. For Maryville, beginning the second half, Bob Nelson and Gary Howran at the guard positions, Ken Sheridan and Don Sears are the forwards, and Gary Simon is the center. Team 
Williams are at center court. Clock set. Ball is up. Tip control by Shepard to Shanahan. Down court under the baseline. The shoots off the backboard. Rebounded by Bolden. Tip back up. Tipped again by Shepard. Bolden with a rebound. The shoots blocked by Simon. Ball goes out of bounds off the hands of Sears. It'll stay with the Bears. Covers back in. Bounds the ball to Shepard standing in the lane underneath the basket. He jumps, shoots, scores. With 15 seconds into the second half, it's Bears 65-34. Sears far side, stopped by Shanahan. Bounce pass out front to Nelson. And then to Simon on the near side, holds the ball. The Howard in top of the key. Ball to Sheridan. Bounce pass Simon to the baseline. Shoots and scores. Maryville full court press. They'll corner Shanahan far side, lobs to Perry half court and on to Bolden on the near side. Danny down the lane, lays the ball to the backboard, rebounded by Simon. Now up to Nelson. Cross half court to Howron. He'll hold it up near the side and take a jump. For rebounded by Shepard. Now to Shanahan at the baseline jumper, off the rim, rebound to Simon. Ball cross half court to Sears, near side, fires a jumper with a rebound to Shepard. Outlet to Gummersbach, fast break, three on two, ahead to Bolden, off the backboard and in and fouled by Sheridan. Bolden at the free throw line, up and in to complete the three-point play. Howard top of the key to Simon at the post, fakes, breaks down the lane, stopped by Bolden and Shepard. Now out to Howard near side. He tries to shoot, cut off by Bolden. To Simon, to Sears out front. He passes to Howard near side. Lobs to Sheridan in the lane. Shoots. Air ball. Rebounded by Shepard. Outlet to Gummersbach. Fast break far side. Starts to lay up. Passes to Bolden. And he lays it in for two more. Sears far side. Breaks for the baseline. Lobs to Sheridan at the lane. Deflected by Shanahan. Sheridan recovers. Gummersbach tips it away. Bounce off Perry. Recovered by Shanahan. Bounce to Gummersbach, fast break far side over to Bolden. Lays it up and in, two more for the Bears, and it's 72 to 36. Power in midcourt to Nelson near side to Sears at the post. Nelson breaks, Sears passes to him, jump shoots, fouled by Bolden. Nelson at the free throw line for one after the ball bouncing around. And Nelson's second shot around and in. Maryville full court press, traps Bolden in the corner. He'll get it to Gummersbach, fast break. Bounce to Perry in the baseline. The jumper, good for two more. Bears burn the press and lead 74 to 38. Bears playing zone. Nelson to Gifford, top of the key. Turns, passes to Volmuth near side. He'll wave it around. Pass back out to Sears. Bounce to Gifford, top of the key. To Sears far side. Shanahan misses the intercept. Sears open for the shot. Off the mark. Rebound to Sears. And he'll put it back in. Maryville full court press. Gummersbach inbound to Shanahan around Sears fast breaking down the near side. Free throw line. Bounce pass to Perry at the baseline. Shoots. No good. Rebound off to Valma. He'll dribble to half court for Maryville. Stops. Now to Sears far side. Sears back out front to Balmuth. Dribbles to the far side, stopped by Gummersbach. Pass out front to Nelson. Now to Gifford at the free throw line. Back to Nelson driving the lane. Pass to Simon near corner, shoots. Perry with the rebound of the missed shot. Perry full court pass to Gummersbach. Drive the lane, bounce pass, Bolden shoots, blocked, recovered by Volna. Outlet to Gifford. He stopped at half court. Hands off to Volmuth. Now to Gifford out front. Back to Volmuth. Ball to Howard on the far side, into Nelson, and a foul on Gummersbach. Nelson at the free throw line, and he connects for one, making it 74 to 41 SMS. Gummersbach inbound to Bolden against full court pressure. Bolden back to Gummersbach. 
Dribbles across half court. Pressure by Tonnies. Bounce pass Shanahan. Double team. Breaks through the lane. Pass to Perry far corner. Perry fakes. Holds the ball. Out front to Gummersbach now. Into the lane for a layup. But the rebound was tipped around. Grabbed by Gummersbach. Jumps through the defense. Shoots. Missed. And fouled by Peterson. Gummersbach free throw up and good. And his second shot is also good. 76 to 41 Bears. Volmuth across midcourt. Attempted steal by Gummersbach. Volmuth dribbles across top of the key. Holds on. Passes to Gifford. Then to Simon, middle of the lane. Turns, jump, shoots. Blocked by Shepard. Simon recovers the ball. Out front to Volmuth. Then to Peterson, far corner. Out of Tani's top of the key. To Gifford near corner. Drives baseline. Jump, shoots. And connects for the Bearcats. Gummersbach inbound to Shanahan. Pass to Perry near side. Curtis across the court to Bolden. Tipped by Gifford. Ball goes out of bounds. Gummersbach inbounds to Perry. Now out front to Shanahan. Dribbles around the top of the key. Pass to Gummersbach. Breaks down the lane. Gummersbach to Perry on the baseline. Slapped away by Simon. Long pass to Balmuth far corner. Shoots and scores. And that gets the Bearcats back within 76 to 45. Lob pass to Shepard mid lane, off the back, two for the Bears. They get those two right back. Volmuth mid court to Simon, top of the lane. Lobs to Tunney's near side, intercepted by Bolden. They head to Gummersbach, fast breaking over mid court, pulls up. Pass to Bolden, in for the layup. 80 to 45 Bears. Tunney's down the far side, defended by Bolden. Holds the ball up, then bounce past Simon on the lane. Steps around Parrish, off the backboard, and scores. Shanahan, top of the key. Lobs to Shepard. Tipped away by Simon, recovered by Tonnies. Fast break down court. Pass to Volmuth, far side. Too far in front of him, and loses the ball out of bounds. Maryville, full court pressure, trapping Shanahan. Two on one near the side. Phil gets it to Gummersbach in the Maryville lane. Fast break across midcourt, into the lane. Pass to Bolden, not before taking too many steps and call for traveling. Volmuth down the far side, holds it up, passes to Gifford out front. Gifford to Volmuth, trying to set a pick on Perry. Volmuth dribbles to Tonnies, back to Sears, crossing the top of the key. Pass cut off by Gummersbach. Fast break into the SMS lane, laying the ball up, and foul by Sears. Gummersbach on the line for two, snaps the net on the first. Gummersbach second shot away, and also good. Nelson top of the key to Volmuth far side. Pass back to Tonnies coming off the side of the top of the key. Volmuth breaks along the baseline to the basket. Tonnies pass to Volmuth. Too much lead on it, and it goes out of bounds. Shanahan fast break across midcourt in the lane. Lobs to Bolden off the far side. Bolden stops, jumps, shoots, scores. Fouled by Nelson. Bolden's foul shot is up and in, and the Bears have a huge lead at 85-47 midway through the second half. Tani's to the near side court. Pulls up, jumps, shoots off the rim. Perry for the rebound. Court clears out, leaving Curtis standing in the baseline. Passes cross court to Rachel. Challenged by Tani's at midcourt. Rachel down the far side. Breaks down the lane. Blocked by Tani's and Howard. Pass ball out front to Shanahan. Pauses. Breaks down the far side of the lane. In for the layup. Bears go up by 40. Howren crosses midcourt to the top of the key. Bounce pass Nelson far side. He feeds Gifford, breaking across the baseline. Gifford cut off by Perry. Gifford back to Nelson. Pivots around Bolden. He's picked off by Gifford. Perry top to Nelson on the baseline. Nelson tries to shoot. Blocked by Perry. Nelson bounce pass to Gifford in the lane. Shoots, and he connects. Ball is inbounded by Rachel to Shanahan. Maryville pressing. Shanahan back to Rachel. Fast break down the far side to Bolden. He breaks for the basket. Double team by Maryville. Pass back out front to Shanahan. Breaks around the defense down the lane. Bounce past Perry near side. Curtis passes back to Rachel, top of the key. Wayne drives the lane, laying the ball up off the rim. Rebound scramble under the basket. Bolden comes away with the ball. He'll fake a pass. Back to Shanahan, now top of the key. Shanahan dribbles around slowly. Breaks down the near side lane. Bolden picks off a defender. Bolden almost loses the ball to the defense. Into Shepard, steps around Gifford. Big left-hand hook and drops it in for two. Tani's far side holding the ball, looking, passing to Nelson, top of the key. Nelson jumps, shoots, and knocks it down. 89 to 51 Bears. Racial down the far side quickly. Double teamed by Tani's and Nelson. Racial passes to Bolden in the far corner. Look, no takers. 
Dribbles out front, passing to Rachel, top of the key, then to Shanahan the other side. Shanahan lobs to Shepard in the free throw line. Shepard lobs the ball to Bolden on the baseline. Shoots a jumper off the rim, rebound to Shepard, and dunks it back in for two. Howron gets around Rachel at half court. Ball to Nelson near side. Nelson to the top of the key. Spots Gifford all alone under the basket. Passes with a jumper off the backboard and in. And two Maryville points. Shanahan drives left side of the lane. Off to Bolden in the corner. Bolden at the baseline. Pulls up. Misses off the backboard. Recovers his own rebound. Lays it up and in. And fouled by Maryville. Bolden's foul shot is up and good. And the Bears now lead 94-53. Ferguson, Bancroft, Shepard, Rachel, and Bolden on the floor for the Bears. Roger Nelson passed to Howard far side. Ball to Simon, tries to turn and shoot. Stopped by Shepard and Bolden. Ball back to Howard. He'll shoot off the rim to Shepard. Outlet pass to Bancroft, fast breaking across midcourt. Powers down the lane and slam dunks it for two more. Roger Nelson out front to Howard far side. Nelson breaks down the lane. Howard passes back out front to him. Howard breaks far the baseline. Nelson goes into the corner. Bounce pass Gifford to the pivots. Jump shoots. Blocked by Bolden. Danny comes down with a rebound and underhands it to Rachel at the top of the key. Rachel pass to Ferguson far side. Behind Ferguson, though, and out of bounds. Maryville ball. Greg Mess and Max G into the lineup for SMS. Howard far side to Gifford on the baseline, pressured by Ferguson. Gifford passes out front to Bob Nelson. He drives the lane, layup off the front of the rim. Rebound by Gifford, goes back up too high. Gifford up, tips the rebound off the backboard, and this time he scores. Greg Mess across midcourt, stopped at the top of the key. Pass to Max G near side, then to Ferguson in the corner. Ferguson handoff back to G coming around the near side. Ferguson, he'll lob to Bancroft near side lane. Mert turns fake, sends the ball back to Mess, top of the key. Greg to Ferguson on the baseline under the basket, pivots around Gifford back, handing the ball off the backboard and scores. Roger Nelson across midcourt, pass to Goodson far side. Goodson breaks around Rachel, drives the lane, jumps at the free throw line, and knocks it down. 98 to 57 Bears. Racial fast break across midcourt, holds up, now drives top of the key. Steps through two defenders, lays the ball on the backboard, rebound coming to Simon. Outlets to Bob Nelson near side. Nelson begins the break across midcourt for Maryville. Pulls up around the top of the key, lobs the ball to Simon on the free throw line. Simon stopped by Bancroft. Back to Bob Nelson out front. Ball to Goodson far side. Goodson dribbles, ball batted away by Rachel. Goodson recovers it top of the key. Sends it to Gifford in the far baseline. Gifford steps to the side, jump shoots, misses. Rebound Ferguson. Outlet to Greg Mess. Cross midcourt, fast break to the free throw line. Bounce to Max, jumps off the rim. <laughs> Recovered by Gifford. Bob Nelson near side, shoots a long jumper, missing off the front of the rim short, out of bounds, off Maryville. Ball comes inbounds to Rachel, to Mess, going down the near side, turns back to midcourt, fast breaks across the timeline, pulls up short, top of the key, hands to Rachel, coming around the lane. Ball back to Mess, top of the circle, looking, bouncing, back up. Ball to Rachel, looks, lobs to Ferguson, near the top side of the lane, fakes the jumper, dribble toward the baseline, under Gifford, lays it off the backboard and in, and the Bears are at the century mark on the scoreboard with seven minutes to go. It's 100 to 57. Power into Gifford in the far corner, lob to Roger Nelson, middle of the lane, back to Gifford, jumps and scores. Greg into Max G to Bancroft, pass midcourt. Mert holds the ball up front, looks. Ball to Rachel, far side, breaks for the lane, feeding to Ferguson under the basket, off the board and in. And it's 102 to 59. Bolmuth down the far side, out of Goodson with a long jumper off the rim. Ball out of bounds, off Maryville. Inbounded by G, then to Mass, far side. Fast breaks, holds the ball up, off to Rachel, looking back to Mass, far side. Ferguson breaks across the lane, drops back to the baseline under the basket. Greg to Max, top of the key. Ferguson off the baseline, free throw line. Max around Ferguson, picks off a defender. Ferguson drops back into the lane. G bounce past Ferguson, off the board and in. And the Bears go to 104 to 59 with six minutes to go. That basket breaks the old arena high score of 103 set on February 24th, 1953 against Rolla. Goodson across midcourt, top of the key. Double teamed by Max and Greg. Mess ties the ball up on the floor, jump ball with 5.52 to go as Jenkins comes in for Ferguson. Here's the jump, tip goes to Vaughn at the top of the key, quick shot and in. Mess slowly dribbles to midcourt. 
Drops it off to Rachel to the free throw lane. Ball to Greg in the near corner, fakes a jumper, goes around Gifford on the baseline, left hand layup off the board in the end. Simon gets it at the free throw line. Quick jumper off the back of the rim. Rebound Max G. Over to Greg Ness. Ball goes behind him into the hands of Bancroft. Mert stops, holds up, back to G far side. Pass break, bounce pass deflected by Simon out of bounds. Now inbound to Greg Ness, far side. Ball to G, top of the key. Now to Racial near side. Wayne with a long jumper, in and out. Rebounded by Sears. Then to Goodson. Volma far side looking. Gets it off to Sears out front. Sears long cross-court pass to Gifford near side. Quick pass to Balmuth on the baseline under the basket. Turn shoots off the back of the rim. Rebound Bancroft. Simon reaches over Mert, grabs the ball. Quick jumper spins out of the rim. Rebounded by Bancroft and foul by Simon over the back. Kenny Watkins, Mike Watts, Max G, Willie Jenkins, and Mert Bancroft now in the SMS lineup. Mert at the free throw line. Up and misses. Scramble for the rebound. Sears and Jenkins call for a jump ball. In the game now for the Bears, Mike Watts, Paul Perkins, Willie Jenkins, Kenny Watkins, and Larry Credwick. Jump ball tip off to Balmuth. Holds it up, waits for the court to clear, starts dribbling across midcourt, pass to Goodson far side, back to Balmuth, one bounce up for a jumper and in. Watkins down the court, passes to Perkins, top of the key. Perkins drives near side lane, pulls up, scoots around Simon, jump shoots and scores. Valmuth far side, tries breaking around Crudwig, but stopped. Pass to Simon near far side post. Lobs cross court to Goodson. Goodson steps in, then jumps and shoots off the back of the rim, then out of bounds off the top of the backboard. Jenkins into the front court, pass to Watts far side. Watkins and Crudwig picking off defenders. Watts passes to Watkins, far corner, jump shoots off the rim, scramble for the rebound, jump ball called between Watts and Gifford. Jump ball tip off, ball on the floor, squirts out between legs. Ball slapped away from Jenkins by Simon. He and Jenkins on the floor after the ball. Simon on his back, flips it to Sears. Simon, though, call for traveling and ball to SMS with 3.34 to go and leading 108 to 63. Jenkins inbounds to Crudwig out front. Crudwig steps back, pass to Jenkins far side. Jenkins dribble to the top of the key, pass to Watts. Watkins picks off Perkins defender at the free throw line. Watts to Perkins, defense collapses. Perkins back to Watts far side. Watts breaks for the baseline, double team. Sends it to Jenkins far side. Jumper off the back of the rim. Rebound off the floor by Sears. He starts down the far side, pressured by Jenkins. Sears to Volmuth on the far corner. Jenkins pressing Volmuth and now back to Sears. Valmuth to the top of the key, jump shoots and knocks it down. Maryville full court press, Perkins near mid court, pass to Jenkins, ball gets away, picked up by Sears, then to Goodson on the far side. Goodson looking, passes to Valmuth, ball deflected by Watts, recovered by Sears. He bounced pass to Gifford all alone, jump shoots and scores, and it's 108 to 67, Bears with 2.49 to go. Jenkins to the top of the key, bounce pass Watkins, middle of the lane. Right hand hook deflected by Simon. Back to Perkins near the free throw line. Perkins jumps and makes it. Valmuth near side, top of the key. Passes deep to Gifford near side. Double teamed by Crudwig and Watkins. Passes to Sears near sideline. Jumper off the near block by Watkins. Ball bounces high off the rim, tipped out of bounds by Gifford. Jenkins down to the top of the key, loses control. Simon, Valmuth, Jenkins, and Watts all go for it. Watts takes it too far into the corner and shoots a jumper, misses the rim, grabbed by Sheridan. Crudwig slaps it away. Ball rounds on the floor, gets popped up in the air, recovered by Gifford. Jenkins tips it away, grabbed by Simon. Simon outlet to Volmuth, takes the ball to the free throw line, jumps off the back of the rim, rebound, scramble out of the basket, backhanded by Crudwig out front, grabbed by Watkins. Fast break, bounce pass Watts, deflected by Volmuth. Now flip it back to Sheridan, far side. Jenkins pressuring Sheridan as Maryville gets it back. Head to Simon, passing it to Volmuth at midcourt. Volmuth slows down. Now Volmuth and Gifford in the middle of the lane. He shoots a jumper, air ball, scramble for the ball. Gifford over Jenkins back and call for the foul. Willie's first free shot is up and in. And the second one is two. It's 112 to 67. This is one point now from the school's all-time basketball record score set in 1963 against Rolla. Valmuth across the timeline, pressured by Jenkins. Pivots around Willie and drives top of the key, pulls up short, jump shoots and scores. 112 to 69 with a minute to go. Jenkins down, cross midcourt. 
Dribbles toward the top of the key, challenged by Volmuth. Willie turns, pivots around Volmuth from the free throw line, jumps, shoots, ball rebounds high off the front of the rim. Credwig high up and over Jenkins, tips the ball back in for the score, and that breaks the school's previous high record. It's the most points scored in school history, 114 for the Bears tonight. Maryville next possession. Simon takes the shot from the free throw line and scores. It's 114 to 71. 15 seconds left. Jenkins into the front court. Dribbles to the top of the key. Sidesteps the defense into the middle of the lane. One hand jumper. This time it's in. Two points. 116 to 71. Time runs out before Maryville can inbound the ball when pressed by SMS and the game ends 116 to 71. Well, for those attending tonight's game, they witnessed quite an event. It was bound to happen, but to have both in the same game was a treat. The talented team of Bears wiped out not only the arena scoring record, but the single game scoring record anywhere, beating tonight's opponent, the Northwest Missouri State Bearcats of Maryville, 116 to 71. It was a route from the start, as the SMS starters ran up a 30 to 10 lead in the first seven minutes. Coach Bill Thomas cleared his bench early in the first half and let the junior varsity have almost the last five minutes of the game to put on the final touches. The Bears had a 60% field goal shooting average, hitting 49 of 82 attempts compared to Maryville's 38.7 average. The Bears controlled the boards 52 to 35. Center Lou Shepard hit all 10 of his field goal tries, and forward Danny Bolden was 9 of 14, giving both of them honors as the game leaders 21 points each. The win brings the Bears' season total to 15-3 and three, and a perfect season so far in MIAA play. Jim Gummersbach, Phil Shanahan, Curtis Perry, the other team starters put in superb performances on offense and especially on defense, resulting in a nearly 2-1 to one lead at the half. Gummersbach contributed offensively 12 points, Shanahan 6, and Perry 13. The depth of the SMS bench was also impressive, contributing 37% of the points. Ferguson, the accomplished senior forward, contributed 16 of those points and sent the Bears over the 100 mark with a driver as 7.03 remained on the clock. Less than two minutes later, his fielder topped the record for an SMS team when it made the score 104 to 59. That was the arena mark. And then other offensive contributors were Bancroft with six, Rachel with one, Max G two, Greg Mess two points, Paul Perkins four, with needed assists both offensively and defensively from Mike Watts and Kenny Watkins. Larry Crudwig, a 6'8 freshman from Lebanon who just became eligible at the semester, tipped in his only score, a rebound, bringing the score to 114, sent SMS past the previous school record of 113, set against Rolla on February 8, 1963. Reserve forward Willie Jenkins put in a stellar performance, both defensively and offensively, contributing 10 points to the Bears' total. It was Willie's second free throw at a minute 31 remaining that brought the SMS score to within one point of the team record, and he missed the fielder that would have broken it, but it was his long one-hander in the final seconds that did give the Bears the new record. That also gave SMS seven more field goals than their previous high of 42 set against Gonzaga on March 10, 1953.